Hello, so we are back Thursday and we have an interesting job. This problem. You see, when you see the MacBook uh, iCloud locked, you believe, okay, this is a stolen device. Actually, not. The customer knows the password, but he's trying to reset the laptop. He bought it from eBay a long time ago. He's trying to reset the laptop and uh, he doesn't know the iCloud password because he bought it from eBay. Okay, so what we have today to do is to unlock this uh, this MacBook. Hmm. So what do you think? We can do it. All you have to do is to replace the buyer ship, and I do have the buyer ship here. That's the one. But we have to do it quickly. Yeah. We have to do it quickly. You know, when you work in a shop, everything has to be quickly. That's a that's a reason why it's a bad idea to buy phones or uh, MacBooks from eBay. We have same problem here buying phones and the phones get locked, uh, blocked, blocked. Sorry, blocked after like a while. Okay, so that's the board. Ah, and the buyer ship is next to this connector. Okay, we'll have a problem then. Here on this mic, we have to pay attention because you have the 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 keyboard cable. I think the keyboard cable is going exactly under this chip, <laughs> so you can have a big problem. But first, let's. Uh, Disconnect the battery. I don't want to take the board out, that will be long. That will be long. We just need to leave the board a little bit. Yeah, that's all what we need. And that should be enough. If we can find a small metal plate, mm -hmm. so what we can use here. Oh, yeah, even better, I found a touchpad. Found a touchpad. I don't want to knock components behind of the board. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's all. 
now we can replace the the thingy we need some captain tape to cover that connector Uh, let me find that because it's not here anymore. One second. Okay. So we have this connector here. Which is, even if we melt that connector, it's not a problem. But you, you know, it's just I don't want to damage anything on the board. It's not used. I mean, the connector is not used. That's the that's the thing. And that's the bias chip. So keep in mind the job, the bias chip position. Yeah. The dot is on the corner. Okay, got that. Okay. Let's use a little bit of flux, not too much. Now let's remove the chip. You can buy those chips from eBay, you know. Okay, so the chip is removed. Let's come with the new chip. So that's the new chip. Okay. The chip position should be like that. Okay, and the bio ship is soldered. Let's test now. Okay, all good. The keyboard, let's plug the keyboard back. The screw. One more screw here. Yeah, all good. Let's check now. Plug in the USB thingy. Keep press the old button. Power on.
And the laptop is on, I can hear the startup sound. Why I can't see the USB then? It's no password. It's no password. Internet recovery. I do have the internet recovery, but I want to install it from the USB. Power off. Old key power on. Why I can't see the USB? So clearly there is no password. Command RP power button. But I think removing the battery is doing the same thing. Now it's off, let's power on. Because we should be able to boot from the USB. Possible my USB to not be good. Let's check another one. Yeah, and we have USB boot, so this one, okay, this my USB is not good. Why? This Catalina. Well, you know, I suppose my USB is gone, okay? Let's plug the new USB boot from it and uh, install the operating system so what do you think it's a hard job it's not we usually try and um, Stay away from, you know, stolen things and, you know. But when the customer shows, like, he knows the password, he can log in on the Mac. You know, you know he sees his laptop. I see in there are few devices. You just connect with the pins on the chip and you program the chip, you know, in the in the board but I don't know it's more easy just to replace the chip you buy the chip from eBay the chip is like 15 one five and uh, yeah like a few minutes to replace the chip So this is gone to understand. And that's this is the old one. This is the old bias chip. Now all what is left is to clean the board, 
make it nice stick back the this bit I had this model before, but we dedicated a uh, graphic chip. I think it was a 80 Radeon chip. I think this is 2015 model, no? Yeah, I think it's 2015. Nice. Nice laptop. A nice weather outside, like 20 degrees today. Wait, it'll start raining from later. Next week probably will be no video because uh, I got a week off. You know, it's uh, I'm playing that game Matin 2. Anyone is playing Matin? And a new server comes out. And I have to play it, you know, I'm playing with Diana. Let's see. Okay. So we go to utilities, disk utility. We already know the customer want to uh, wipe it and have a brand new operating system. Erase. Erase. All good. Closing this window. Continue. Select the disk where you want to install Yosemite. I don't think it will work. I think we have to change the date. Well, let's try it. It is working. I don't know, it's a stupid thing. When in the time and the date is not right, it will not allow you to install the operating system. So you have to go on the terminal and uh, change the date to match with the operating system date, and then you can install it. Okay. Well, it looks like it's working fine. It's like 13 minutes and we'll be ready. Okay. So I'll stop this video. No point to keep you here to install the operating system. And uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Maybe it's helpful at some point. And uh, see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.